Hey people! Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this kind of sultry date night makeup look. It's this uh, like mauve gold eye kind of thing that I did. And uh, I like how it turned out. So if you want to see how I accomplished this look, then just keep watching. Alright people, so I thought it would be kind of fun. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this where they go into their boxy charm or their ipsy bags, whichever uh, makeup thing that they're uh, prescri prescribed. That's, that's not even... Whatever uh, makeup thing they are subscribed to and they um, will do a makeup tutorial using the items that they got that month. I am now on the ipsy box. I upgraded to the ipsy box thing. Uh, you get full size products. And um, so I'm gonna use the stuff that I got in this month's um, box. And I thought that'd be kind of cool. Okay, so first thing I'll be using out of my Ipsy box this month, it's actually gonna be the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsession. And as you can see, I have my shadow shields on because we are doing a wing today. So the first color I'm gonna go in with is this middle guy right here, this guy right there. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M441 brush. I'm gonna use this as like my first transition shade. It may be a little dark for that, but we're gonna try it anyway. I'm just gonna put that in the crease. I'm just putting it from the outer to the inner corner as normal. Now we're going to switch up to the Morphe M433 brush. So I think I'm going to go in with this guy right here in the bottom corner here. Well, not how I imagined it would. Hmm. I guess it just doesn't come out as rich as I thought it would from the pan onto my eye. I don't know, maybe I'm being unrealistic. Okay, and as I always do in between each shade, I go in with that fluffy M441 brush and I go in and um, blend all edges together. So now I'm gonna kind of mute it and I'm gonna go in with this kind of, this like dusty rose color right here. I'm going to put that on top. Still using that same M44, M433 brush. And I'm really liking that color going on. So maybe it was just that one color specifically. It's having some issues. And now we blend. Okay, so this is probably not going to be dark enough. I'm probably going to go with something else in my outer corner. But I am going to try this guy right here and start putting this in my outer corner just to see what she looks like. Yeah, she's pretty, but... Um... She's not dark enough by herself. So, a lot better impression. Just that one color. None of those colors were patchy and they blend great. Um, it was just that one color didn't translate onto my skin the way that I thought it would. So, I am going to go into the uh, Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to go into this color here. 
right there. I think it's called Soda Pop. I'll list it down below. But it's got this um, purple undertones and it's just perfect for an outer corner color for this look, I think. In there. I just like to get the color in there, kind of stamp it, and then I move it around where I want it to go. And then we blend. And when you're blending this guy, don't go all the way to your inner corner because you're gonna kind of cover up a whole lot of those mauves that you already did and turn everything way darker than you may want it. So for my lid color, I'm going to use another palette I actually got in another Ipsy box. And it's called um, Wanderous Seascape from Wander Beauty. I can't remember. I think I got about two Ipsy boxes ago. Um, and it's got these two goldy shades right here. I think I'm on one of them I want to try. I think I'm going to try Champagne Harbor. I don't know that I've actually, I guess I've tried them on my lid before. Not hardcore, I don't know. Obviously I tried it, I don't know when, I don't know where. So I'm gonna dampen my brush. I'm using the Morphe M167 flat shader brush. This kind of reminds me of a palette you would get from Claire's maybe. Like the top looks really pretty and sparkly and then when you dip into it, it's a completely different, it's not as pretty anymore. <laughs> and then I'm taking my Morphe, my little Morphe M506 brush just to blend and soften edges. And I am going in, back in with that soda pop to touch that up and make sure that the edges between that and the um, Champagne Harbor are, uh, blend well in together. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the wing. First I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs highlighter in blacker and I'm gonna kind of just throw it on uh, with general direction and manipulate it around with the um, eyeshadow. I want a smoky cat eye with this. So I kind of just start out with start out with some, and then you're gonna keep adding more. So I'm gonna since I have it out, I'm gonna use just this black color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'll be using probably a couple different brushes, but first I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M213 brush. And I'm just gonna use the top edge of that to start smoking stuff out. And I just use very, very, and I'm coming into the inner corner. And I'm using the eyeliner with the eyeshadow because the eyeshadow itself is just not as black by itself without the eyeliner, if you're wondering why I'm using both instead of just one as well. Because um, I've used just the eyeshadow before too, which you can do. But eyeshadow by itself is, is not as black as eyeliner. So just double teaming it. Okay, so there will be more to be done once I take the eyeshadow shields off to these wings, I'm sure, but time to take them off now. I 
I'm just gonna take this makeup wipe and clean some stuff up a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna put on some mascara and I did get something out of my Ipsy box from Thrive Cosmetics. And it's the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, Length and Volume, Orchid Stem Cell Complex. And so we're gonna try this guy. And damn, this is heavy, dude. Like, you could hit somebody with this and cause a concussion. We will try this out. I don't know I love my steel and mascara, so really hard to pass that up. I'll say I don't like these little wands normally. I'm like, when I see these, I'm like, I'm not even impressed. I'm not even going to try them, but this has a lot of stability behind it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do um, fake lashes with this look yet. I get so torn because really dramatic fake lashes can cover up so much of what you've done on your eyes as far as all this work goes so i'm still contemplating it definitely gives you really good length i don't know that it gives me the same volume that my stila does because my stila gives me really good length and volume but this is definitely giving me some really good length all right now it's time to start on the face so something else I got out of my Ipsy box is this moisturizer. It's the Pretty Filter Waterfall Glow Cream, which let me take it out of the box so it's maybe easier to see. This guy right here, this guy comes with um, this booklet that kind of tells you about all the products that you got this time. So let's see what this guy says. It's a lightweight cream formulated with hydrolonic acid and hydrolyzed collagen to plump, firm, and moisturize your skin. Plus, it's safe and gentle enough for all skin skin types, including sensitive. So, I will mix this guy here with my Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Drops today. So, I'm just putting that on the back of my hand with one pump of my elephant and mixing it on my hand as normal yeah it seems like weight enough to wear during the day my problem is getting away from the um <laughs> the tatcha water cream because I'm not finding any daily moisturizer that gives my skin the benefits that that stuff does Which is a real bummer because the Tatcha water cream is expensive. Next, I'll be putting on my Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint, Tint Physical Daily Defense, which is just my tinted um, sunscreen for my face. And um, I use this all the time now. Very comfortable. And as I said before, they do have a non-tinted version. And you should be wearing sunscreen on your face every day. Underneath your makeup or by itself so you don't get these brown spots like I have. Next, I'm putting on makeup primer and I'll be going in with my Yensa Color and Face Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. And I have been using this non-stop lately. Um, just because um, it's been working really well for me, surprisingly, even in the summer. It, you'd think, because it seems like a thicker cream, that it would not help me with my oily T-zone issues, but it works very, very well for me. So this um, is something I got in the Sipsy box this month. This is by Pixie, and I've never used a Pixie product ever. I've seen them before. I know Target uh, carries Pixie products, and I think uh, it's a drugstore brand too, probably. 
This is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist with propolis and argon oil. And let's have a little booklet today. See, it's formulated with 13 natural essential oils, aloe vera, and fruit extracts to set your makeup, hydrate, protect, and give your skin a gorgeous dewy finish. Um, mist it onto your skin before makeup or all over your face, hair, and neck throughout the day for a refreshing pick-me-up. So, um, what I'm hearing is this is not good for oily skinned people. So this might be good, something I could use more in the winter. I will try this now before my makeup. I don't think I would want to try this after my makeup. But I'll give it a try before my makeup, sure. Okay. It smells all... plant-like. <laughs> Do I look dewy? So first thing we're going to put on is my Tarte CC under eye corrector as normal and just going to put this on my under eyes to correct the uh, purples and blues and the dark spots on my forehead. And I like to use my e.l.f. concealer brush to do this. Don't forget your inner corners because those can get dark too. If you have dark circles like I do. Next, I'm putting on my foundation and I'm still using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I am in the color 185. I think I've been putting the color 180. And that is so uncool. Um, and I'll be putting it on my really dirty, damp Real Technique sponge. And I always start at my jawline and go up so that I don't have a heavy amount of product on the inside of my face and my nose gets very oily and red so I put on its own amount And just patting this on my forehead, up to my hairline and my temples. Next, I'm going to be putting on my concealer and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. And it's the Instant Retouch Pro Filter Concealer. And when I'm putting it on, or when I have a full face of foundation, I only put on a concealer under my eyes. And if I'm broke out like I am today, I will use it on my breakouts, but I don't put a ton of it all over my face. And I'm just using my same Real Damp Technique sponge to apply this underneath. And I'm gonna set my under eyes now with my um, <laughs> Essence Brighten Up Powder, <laughs> banana powder, just so that they don't crease. And I'm using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush to do this. And yeah, if I do this now, I do not deal with any creasing underneath of my eyes. Next, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows and I'll be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill in Light Brunette. And I don't like to powder my face, or set my face yet because I'm gonna jack up my eyebrows and overdo them and mess them up. 
and it's a lot easier to fix them with the concealer when I don't have any powder on my face. Alright, so next I'm going to be setting my face with the RCMA Translucent Setting Powder and I'll be using that same damp Real Techniques sponge to do it. And I just like to press that into my skin on the outer perimeters of my face. As I've said before, this is really, really good for combination to oily skin people who don't want to add more product to their face like a powder foundation but they need to set their face so that that liquid foundation stays and doesn't slide off throughout the day and this is good to set your face so that when you apply your blush and your um, bronzer and your highlight that things don't skip and essentially you're setting your face just like you do your eyelids so your eyeshadow doesn't skip same kind of principle so I do my entire forehead my temples my whole t-zone I don't do my inner cheeks or my smile lines I feel like I know a lot of people say it helps keep the product out of them and it seems to do the opposite for me now we're going to finish the eyes so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my Marc Jacobs highlighter in blacker in my water lines because we're gonna kind of use this a little bit and I'm gonna kind of use it to bleed down into my lash line a little bit too. All right, next I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush, and I'm gonna go in with the same black shadow that I used from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette right here. And we're going to use the edge of that. And we're going to hug that lash line very closely. All right, so now we're gonna go back into that little Huda Beauty guy. And using the Morphe M213 brush that we used before, I actually cleaned this guy off. I'm going to go in with that lighter pink, actually, I think, this guy right here, right there, on the very edge, and go just on top of that black. You're not even going to see it, really. I'm just going to go on top, and what I'm trying to do may not work. but I think it'll work. Just bear with me for a second. And then I wanna take that red on the corner that I loved so much. <laughs> we're gonna put that and we're gonna do the same thing. And then I wanna take that dusty rose color that we used right here and do the same thing again. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Morphe E18 smudge brush right here. Actually, I think I'm going to dip into that dusty rose color. Now we're going to smoke. I 
I kind of did those colors on top of the black to kind of have those come out a little bit, but that black I wanted to be primary. And so um, you'll kind of see those reds come out, reds, the mauves come out, but that black is still there. I'm still deciding on the fake lashes. I still don't know. Well, I'm gonna put on another coat of this guy right here on the top lash line. And then maybe I'll make my decision. Still deciding. I could put lashes on very, very last. I could, I could do it. So I'm just going to reapply the Marc Jacobs highlighter to my bottom water lines and I'm going to tight line. To highlight my inner corners and my brow bone, I'm gonna use these two guys. Um, I think they're called Beam and Enlight. <laughs> um, from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And the eyes are all done. Maybe. Okay, time to finish up the face because it's very pale, especially since I have not felt well for like the last two weeks. So let's get some color in here. Of course, I will be using my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. And I'm going to be using, let's see, my Kat Von D number four brush for this. And you guys already know the technique, my whole C3PO movement. Where basically I go from the temple to my cheek to my ear to my jaw there's a c there's a three you get you don't want to bronze your entire face you want to look sun-kissed and you're wanting to bronze specific areas of your face and using a brush of this size is really like giving yourself a light contour as well. As I've said before, I don't tend to contour my face hardcore because I already feel like my, my um, face is very skinny and severe as it is. And I don't think it's super flattering on me to contour. Definitely like to bronze this five head. If you have a cute forehead, you do not need to bronze this much. Just a little bit to connect all of your bronzing together. I am going to do a contour on my nose. I'm going to use my Luxie 207 medium angled shader. Shading brush. Go down the sides of your nose. Cause I actually do think I have a big nose. So. And I do have a contouring color, but um, I don't feel like getting it out. So it is better to actually contour with a contouring color if you have them. Bring things in and look smaller. And then I take my Morphe E47 brush right here, which is this like flat shader, shader, flat edge brush, which I have used for contouring before. And I take my um, RCMA powder and I tend to go down and highlight those areas that you don't want shaded darkly. Shaded darkly? Is that even correct? Let's 
I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. And then I'm gonna put on some blush. Since we have the mauves going on, I'm gonna use a little more of a pinky. So I'm gonna go in with this color called Seduce. And this is a Tarte Amazonian clay blush. Okay, I'm gonna take that Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush and just gonna wipe away extra powder. And then I have this other angled brush, it has no product on it, and I just like to buff edges and make sure that nothing is severe. So the last thing that I got in my Ipsy box was actually from Ofra Cosmetics, and it's the highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And I'm really happy I got this. I saw this going all over YouTube and um, it looked really pretty. Really late on the whole Rodeo Drive train, but that's okay. So I'll be using my Morphe M501 brush to highlight my cheeks. So I just do my temples and my cheeks. Stay out of my eye bags, whoop! And I like to use my fingers just to soften any lines, harsh lines, I guess. That's really pretty. All right, I guess I uh, get the height now. Tone that down a bit. Golly, I see that shit from space. Next, I need to set my eyebrows using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. For lips, I'm thinking maybe a really light pink would look cute. I don't know. I don't know, we're about to find out. So first thing I'm gonna go in with is from Bite Beauty and it's their um, matte cream lip crayon. Matte cream lip crayon. And it is in the color Sugar Cane. On top of that, I'm gonna put the Marc Jacobs Lip Lacquer on and it's in the color called Flamingo. I think that works, I think that'll work. It's okay, it's okay. All right, so this guy could be used as a makeup setting spray, they said. Um, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm not doing anything super, 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 super. I mean, I'll try it. Then the fan. All right, people. So this is the finished look. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. I think it's a really cute, sultry date night kind of look. And it was kind of cool that I was able to use everything in my Ipsy box for this look today. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.